Batman and Crash. And the folks! Yeah! Yeah, it's supposed to be a family show. This is not a really. Show. This is not a family show. This is a grunkle show. It's hot. Right. All right. How? How? Oh, 82 degrees outside. It's going to be a 10 percent. Anywho, what's going on, guys? Hope you remember this. But this is not that. This is different because we. Someone. Yeah. Problem. So now we got another block. This one is in a little better shape. So. On this one, we're actually going to put this motor together after we're done cleaning it up. So, first we're going to start off with extracting these broken bolts that are in it. What? What do you want? A I'm key? trying to end the clip. A, a key? Is that a key? A better key? Waba key. Waba key. Waba key. Waba key. Hey guys, alright, so, here's a new block. It's gross. All right, well, before I go ahead and start cleaning it, honing it, and doing everything I need to do, I need to start by addressing these three broken studs that are in there. Now, my buddy started tapping and trying to extract it and broke the tap off inside, so oopsie poopsies is dead. So I'm gonna do another trick that I've done before. I'm gonna start off by taking a washer, and we'll go ahead and weld it to the tip of the stud that's still in there with the bolt. Once that's tacked on, I'm then gonna take the nut, put the nut over top of the washer, and then weld the heck out of the center of this thing, get everything all fused together real good. At that point, the heat should break all the rust free, and then allow me to put a socket on this and extract the bolt. So I got three of them to do, so uh, let's get it done. Ladies and germs, there you have it. Let's go in for the close up. So now you can see that the stud is extracted. You can barely make out the washer on the back side, and you see the nut. I already extracted that one, and I got that one halfway out. So once you weld on your washer, stack on your nut, and then simply ah, that's really hot. Take out the socket that's boiling hot and remove the stud. Eh. So come over and you do 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 Yes, very hot. Everything will be very, very hot. But it works like a charm. These were rusted and frozen inside the engine block. They were broken off when this thing was taken apart. So very typical for Ford water pump studs to do that. And it's a lot of fun. So next time you got a bolt that's broken off, rusted in place, and you got a welder and a little bit of aptitude, you can go ahead and use this for your next extraction trick. It works like a charm. I've used it on aluminum cylinder heads. Works good on steel. It's just a great method to get a broken bolt out. Plus, when you weld on it and you put all that heat in the bolt, it kills all the rust. That way it frees up the bolt. It sp spins right out. Just fair warned, hot, hot, hot. And also, when you go to break it free, slow, steady pressure. Don't try to jerk or hammer that thing. You'll just end up breaking it off, have to do the process all over again. So, next clip. Okay, so I got the bolts extracted now. Time to clean. So, we have popped out all of the plugs that are in this. You have plugs that go for your lifters that supply oil all the way through for the lifters. You also got your oil channel here, which runs back, also associated with cam bearings. So now I gotta go through and clean the gook off. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Well, let's get to it.
this thing on? Oh, all right, hey, you are. So, we got the motor cleaned out. I went through with the wire brushes, hit all the openings, all the oil patches. I ran through the lifter galleys. So, that is ready. Now, I'm gonna home the block. I'm not gonna go crazy. I'm just gonna pass through a couple times just to make sure it's nice and happy. And, yeah, we're gonna go on that. So, let's get to work. Anywho. All right, so motor is all cleaned up. We scuffed the surfaces for the deck. I used the block to block them straight. We cleaned all the ports. I did all the oil patches. Now it is time to degrease this and get it ready for assembly and paint. So I think we're gonna paint the block prior to putting the motor together, but that's gonna require us to do a lot of masking. But that shouldn't be too big of a deal. So, let's get to scrubbing. Yes. Everything's awkward. Everything's awkward.
Well, there you have it, guys. The motor is painted. It looks great. It is prepped inside. Now, I still got to blow it out and double check everything, make sure everything's clean and clear so we can start actually installing the rotating assembly and all the internals. So, next weekend, next episode, we're going to go ahead and actually start putting all these goodies sitting behind me inside this power box right here. So, without further ado, thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me. Please fly like an eagle. Anywho, please continue hanging out with me. Greatly appreciate it. Hit that like, hit the subscribe. If you like what I'm doing? Send me a message. Let me know I suck. Let me know everything's great. Let me know if I need to do more or less. So, without further ado, thank y'all. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys again downrange. Peace! We have that all prepped, we blew the motor out, now it's time for cam bearings. 